Hi, I'm Josh, and we are Group 8. The start of our GIA trip was pretty rough. Uh, we were split into two groups for our flights, and ours was the one that happened to be canceled, so we were stuck in Logan Airport for a while that first day. But this led us to being scattered all over uh, on some different flights going to Europe. Our group was fortunate enough to get some time in Lisbon, Portugal, where we landed around 5 in the morning, but we took full advantage of the few hours that we were there before our next flight, and a bunch of us went out and were able to explore. After some extensive travel woes, we were able to kick off the trip right with a wonderful welcome dinner at an authentic Prague restaurant. The live music and performances were incredible, and it was even better to get to see some of our classmates, classmates who got to go up on stage and perform with the performers. So the following day in Prague, we were able to go to the Pilsner Urkel Brewery, which was massive. Uh, we got to see some really cool things of how the beer was getting made, uh, of all the ingredients that went into it. We had to see the crazy production line of all the bottles and cans getting filled in this huge warehouse factory. Another part of this tour that was really interesting for all of us was definitely the history of it. Um, it was really interesting to learn all about the tunnels that were under the brewery, as well as it being the first brewery in the world to produce uh, Pilsner beer. trip was our visit to the Prague Castle. The castle was over a thousand years old. It was huge and extremely beautiful, but nothing could beat the view from the top. It felt like you could see the entire city, making it well worth the steep climb it took to reach the top. After leaving Prague, we began to make our way to Berlin, Germany. Our first destination on our way was Dresden. When we arrived, we were given some time to explore the city and even saw the many angry farmers who are a part of the farmer strike currently going on in Germany. Finally, we arrived at our f final destination in Berlin, where we got to experience one of the most iconic cities in Europe. In Berlin, we explored the multiple attractions of the city, such as Restog Building, the original 1936 Olympic Stadium, and the Berlin Wall. We were given some time to explore the city and attend multiple local restaurants on during our time. Also while in Germany, we saw a number of different exhibits, such as the World War II Memorial. The memorial was very much open to interpretation and really made you think deeply about the message trying to be conveyed. We also saw a lot of other forms of expression all around the city, often in the forms of graffiti. Getting the chance to see all this helped to show all the different stories that Berlin has to offer. The clips shown are of Berlin's East Side Gallery, which we explored in our free time. The stretch of the Berlin Wall is over 1,300 meters long and is the longest continuous section of the wall still standing. Immediately after the wall came down, 118 artists from 21 different countries uh, came together to contribute to the open air gallery that we see today. We are now viewing clips of the Berlin Olympic Stadium, which was originally built in 1936 for the Summer Olympic Games. It was built to represent a modern coliseum. This facility was used as a form of propaganda by the Nazi party to demonstrate Germany's power at the time. It's also a location where Usain Bolt broke both the 100 and 200 meter dash world records, and it was renovated at the turn of the century to host the FIFA World Cup. These are images of the palace of King Frederick the Great of Prussia, and we concluded our trip with a farewell dinner in the city and flew home the following day.